Thank you, Elifar. My name is Samantani Nadkarni, and um, I work at the Wellman Center for Photomedicine. So in our lab, we are interested in studying disease pathogenesis from a, a mechanical point of view. <clears throat> Excuse me. So disease pathogenesis for a variety of different condition, uh, disease conditions is accompanied often by changes in the mechanical properties of tissue. And in our lab, we are interested in, eval in developing um, a laser speckle rheology platform. Oops. There. A laser speckle rheology platform for, uh, that will allow the non-contact assessment of the mechanical properties of tissue that allows for the mapping of the mechanical properties of tissue. And we utilize this technology for a variety of different applications. For example, interventional cardiology, where we are interested in studying the low viscosity lipid pool in atherosclerotic plaques. Um, also for cancer research, where we're interested in studying tumor progression, early stage tumor progression in in vitro models by understanding the micromechanical properties or during uh, tumor growth. We're interested also in um, developing um, biopsy guidance techniques, rheology inspired biopsy guidance techniques to understand, to evaluate stiffness uh, in the mechanical, uh, mechanical stiffness in um, cancer. For example, in, you see in this breast cancer tissue uh, obtained from a human patient. And we're also interested in studying the biomechanical properties of uh, the tissue during uh, wound healing as well. One of the major applications we're working on is in understanding the mechanical stability of atherosclerotic plaques and developing this technology and translating it towards patients to evaluate or detect unstable atherosclerotic plaques that are, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, so we are interested in detecting unstable atherosclerotic plaques that may rupture and cause heart attacks in patients. So towards this end, we are developing um, miniature intravascular catheters, as you see on the left, on the right corner of the screen right there. And these catheters are used in vivo um, and are guided into the coronary artery of patients now, which will allow the intracoronary mapping of mechanical properties of plaques. So you can, as you can see, this prototype catheter here in the swine coronary artery in um, arteries of living swine. So we're testing this technology in vivo in uh, human to swine coronary xenograft models. And we are using, utilizing this technology now to detect uh, or measure the mechanical properties of different types of atherosclerotic plaques in vivo. And uh, the testing and validation has been done in swine. And the next step really for the five-year plan is to move this technology for, towards the first in human clinical studies. And this will involve further miniaturization of the intracoronary LSR device and moving towards regulatory approval to then conduct the first in vivo human studies using LSR. Thank you very much for your attention and um, this is my contact information.